But yeah, uh, y'all guessed it right in the chat. You were 100% correct. We are about to start this stream off with some slander. And one of my favorite companies to slander is Ubisoft. If you didn't know, once again, they are in hot water with the Rainbow Six Siege community because apparently they are changing their business model to nickel and dime with few players they have left. Let's see what's going on here. What the fuck? Did not... Shout out to Griff with the sub. Appreciate it. Rainbow Six Siege's new subscription service is already a mess. Over the weekend, Ubisoft announced that this long-running success, Rainbow Six Siege, would be receiving a monthly membership subscription. Despite the dedicated community the game has built over the past eight and a half years, that's right, this game has been going for almost a decade, the reception to mo this move has been anything but warm. Instead, as PC Gamer reports, the uh, Rainbow Six membership has been getting universally dunked on since being announced at a tournament over the weekend. That's the worst place to, to announce like a big financial change to a game like imagine being so arrogant you hold like a tournament is being hosted for a game for all the hardcore fans and players and while they're enjoying the game enjoying the community oh by the way guys we're gonna fuck you we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna fuck you over some more <laughs> give us more money like it just sucks the air out of the room because you're supposed to be celebrating the community and the game you guys almost made it to 10 years don't fuck it up a video included in PC Gamer's write-up shows uh, a crowd actually booing Ubisoft, which can be seen again from another angle. Hold up, I want to see this. Yeah, so as always, you are listening to the guys. What Drake say? Embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, the R6 membership, which will run players $10 a month or $80 a year, comes with many of the basic trappings of a similar optional subs. Um, upon buying into the membership, players will be given instant access to the ongoing season's battle pass, be granted 10 level skips to get ahead of the grind, and receive a Bravo pack, which is Siege's equivalent to loot boxes. Every month, players will also be given 10 more level skips and another Bravo pack on their renewal date. Finally, folks who subscribe to the sub will also get a cosmic drop, cosmetic drop, uh, with one legendary item and whatever epic bundle might be on the 28th of each month. Yo, shout out to Plump Xavier with the sub. There's a decent amount of stuff there for the diehard fans of Siege, and the rest of the Battle Pass rewards also give out unique weapons and operator skins, as well as in-game currency to add value. But the timing of the sub couldn't have been worse. Siege is in the middle of its ninth year, which would be impressive if the current roadmap for this year hadn't let players down with its gapping lack of new content. Just hit me with it. Yeah, we're going to get on it, Nomad, after I get done reading all this stuff. So they haven't been releasing content this year, and they said, oh, by the way, we want more of your money. I can understand why they're mad. The road, like, because because keep in mind, I think you can charge whatever you want as long as you can explain the value behind it. It sounds like there's not much of any value. The roadmap for the next half year includes a lot of reworks to existing characters and systems, and while part of Siege's plan for a long while is not met with a wealth of new addition to keep fans happy. Such reworkings are, I don't care about the reworkings. Yeah, that's the rest of the shit. I don't care about none of this. Uh, oh, wait, there's more. Redders are also calling out the subscription while others are simply reveling in the chaos. <laughs> what does that mean, reveling in the chaos? I guess that's me. Uh, I did a reaction to the whole panel. Memberships announced the entire Siege community. Boo, nigga, boo. I feel like the movie theaters hasn't recovered from COVID with the exception of Mario, Spider-Verse, and the Top Gun Maverick. I feel like you can't uh, blame COVID on the reason why movie theaters um, are failing. With a few exceptions, I think the reason movie theaters are failing because movies as a whole is just a kind of like a tired thing. There's a lack of creativity. So people people don't feel inspired. And then also movie theaters are too expensive too. Like I know I make the joke, it costs, you know what? 30 bucks for like two tickets, 40 bucks for two tickets, depending on where you are. Uh, $100,000 for popcorn and candy. Like I know I joke about that, but there's truth to that. Um, and inflation's through the roof, people are struggling. So unless you're creating something, and then imagine having like, remove yourself out of it, right? Imagine having a family. I seen somebody bring this up on Twitter. I was like, damn, I didn't even think about it from the perspective of having a family. Imagine having a family, you, the wife, two kids, you're paying a million dollars to go to the movies to see a fucking shit ass six out of 10. There's not enough creativity. They're just rebooting bullshit. I think the real issue is create a lack of creativity and the movie theater is overpriced. People can't afford it. People are struggling to pay rent. And the first thing to go are the things that don't matter. The necessities come first. Um, but if, if if the stuff is really good, people will make deception and find the money to go to the movie theaters. I don't think people have found a reason to go. Yeah, $100 to watch Madam Web. Fuck out of here. Nah, we're not going to the movie theaters. Um, 
So unfortunately, that and then I think that the issue with the Mad Max movie, I believe the reviews are good. I want to watch it myself. I don't know if the Mad Max IP is strong enough in 2024 that it can bring in. And I mean, we've seen it. I don't think the IP is like that. That's a movie from the 80s. And then the last one that came out, the rebooted one, Fury Road, I think it was called Fire, by the way. That was like 10 years ago, wasn't it? Or something like that. I just don't think the, the IP is strong enough. It's not like the MCU um, or Barbie. Um, da, 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 da. So, yeah, that, that's why I think the movie theater thing is struggling. I think Deadpool 3 will do good. Deadpool 3 will do good like because it's Marvel and people are excited about to see what they're going to do and how they're going to reboot the universe and shit. I had to shell out 40 50 for six tickets and my stepdad brought over $50 in snacks. Shit is crazy out here. So yeah, uh, fuck Rainbow Six. Um, yo, Ubisoft, why the fuck is Rainbow? I thought about it. Why is Rainbow Six characters not in in X Defiant? There isn't there like a hundred thousand Rainbow Six Siege operators at this point. Why is not one or two in X Defiant? They put random shit in the game. Like who was asking for Far Cry Six characters? Far Cry Six fucking sucks. Why did you put that in the game but not Rainbow Six? I'm sure that is coming. I'm sure it's coming too. But I'm just like, yo, no Rainbow Six, no Assassin's Creed, but you put Far Cry 6? Fuck out of here. Y'all deserve the Mel's. I'm going to stay blacklisted by Ubisoft, y'all. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Uh, let's see what else I got for you. Um, Rocksteady's co-founders partner with Xbox to create a new AAA game. Reports claim. Got some Xbox news for you. So let me catch y'all up to date for those who are not in the know. Um, right before Suicide came out and stunk up the place, the co-creators of Rocksteady, the two founders, left Suicide Squad, and I said on the podcast, red flag. I don't have a red flag. I have a blue one, but red flag, red flag. They're leaving. The creators of the Arkhamverse are leaving? <laughs> People, oh, you're overreacting. Shit came out of his ass. Um, literally the day Suicide Squad came out, those co-founders of Rocksteady announced that they were starting a new studio called 100 Star. Well, we got a new update on that new studio, which I thought was petty, by the way, that they announced it that day. Uh, no, I'm not creeping. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Xbox Game Studio seems to be gearing up to get a new AAA game, and it's being developed by a studio created by two co-founders of Rocksteady. According to a new report from Xputer, developer 100 Star and Xbox have reached an agreement on a new single-player action adventure game. It's the first game from the studio founded by Rocksteady co-founders Jamie Walker and Sefton Hill. While there isn't much info known about the game, the reports add that Xbox Game Studios is financing the project. Insider Gamer is yet to in, uh, independently verify this report. Let's take it with a grain of salt. Uh, both Xbox and 100 Star have been reached out for a comment, but no response has been received as of the publishing. Um, according to the studio's website, it says the company has 100 people. Uh, the company's profile, UK is great place to work website, says that 25 UK based employees, blah, 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 blah. A Daredevil game. Y'all think it'll be another superhero game? I would hate to see that. I, I would like to see them try something else. I would hate to see them pigeonhole themselves by. <laughs> if they made a Daredevil game, what would you even call that shit? The Hell's Kitchen verse? Like, what the fuck? Uh, Hell's Kitchen is like two blocks. Yo, shout out to Lo, uh, Los Lumen. Um. I was going to say, don't get too excited about this. First of all, we haven't seen any gameplay. We don't know what they're working on. But also, come on, guys. If this is true, that Xbox picked them up, should we really be excited after Hellblade 2? Should we really be excited after they shut down four studios? Should we really be excited after we just found out they shut down the studio that made Hi-Fi Rush and was a financial success and was also um, used to... Uh, basically move over to the PlayStation and kind of like imagine imagine being like the the martyr or the the bridge to bridge the gap between Xbox and PlayStation Hi-Fi Rush was that and they shut it down so like I'm taking this with a grain of salt yellow flag until I see some gameplay I need I don't know and even still remember when Suicide Squad was first announced the gameplay looked good with all the verticality and then we start to see more and we was like mm, I don't know about that I don't know about that mm. We gotta wait and see. I I don't I don't I I don't I personally don't feel good about Xbox owning another studio because they haven't proven that they can manage a studio. Starfield sucks. Redfall fucking is horrible. They did Hi-Fi Rush dirty. Hellblade is. <clears throat> Ziggy called it Sleep Blade too. I really don't understand the thought behind closing the studio that made Hi-Fi. It was the one good game that they dropped so far. I don't understand why they dropped it. So I've seen people celebrate. Oh, like. Mm. Mm. maybe you guys should have tried to be independent before getting absorbed by another fortune 500 and i think i think this acquisition is crazy to me 
because I and this is just me speculating. This is not this is not fact. It's not rooted in anything. This is me speculating. But I speculate that the creators of Rocksteady left during the development of Suicide Squad because the publisher, um, Warner Bros, made them turn the game into some type of looter shooter cash grab game, and they didn't want to make that. Look at all the Batman games they made before that. They were just single player action adventure games um, that they wanted to make. And I have a feeling Warner Bros had their hand in the pot and said, no, this time you're going to make a looter shooter because we need to find a way to get people to subscribe and we need regenerating uh, revenue. And the developer said, we're under, the founder said, we're under contract, is not much we can do. So we're going to finish this last album and then we're leaving the label. So after that happens, you would think, you know what? We don't, we, we don't like being under a Fortune 500. They get too much control. They fuck the company over. And it's like, before you even put out, like, at least put one game out independently. Ninja Theory did it with Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice. At least put one game out independently. And then after you develop the game, maybe go find a publisher. But, like, they went straight to Microsoft. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, it's a partnership or a clear acquisition? That's a good question, actually. Uh, not much information is known. So yeah, I'll dial, I'll dial that back. We don't know 100% if this is an acquisition or a partnership. I hope it's a partnership. You're right. I'll, I'll dial that back. I hope it's a partnership. I would hope that they learn from their mistakes. Uh, it says partner. Am I not reading? I'm blind. My dumb ass is at the top. Partners. Eh. But 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 the problem is the article the article doesn't say while there isn't much information known about the game. The report says that it's financing the project. Insider gaming is yet to end and play. None of this has been verified. That's the issue. It says partnered, but it hasn't been verified. So we technically don't know. Uh, we just know they're financing it, but financing could mean anything. It could mean partnership, but it also could mean acquisition. We don't know. So let's take this all with a grain of salt. We're gonna we're gonna keep our eye on this one, this story. We're gonna keep our eye on this. We might get that Iron Fist game. You want a fist, niggas? They'll probably announce it at the showcase. I hope not. Because this is a brand new studio they just announced like a month ago. If they announce a game at the showcase, it's probably going to be some fucking... It's just going to be a title screen with some, at the most, concept art. I don't want to see that. New rule. Unless your game is coming out this year, we don't care. Uh, what's up, TBH? First time in the stream. What up, Jason? Welcome to the stream. Like you said, yellow flag. This is still a yellow flag. Still a yellow flag. Um, no more acquisitions. Xbox doesn't get the benefit of the doubt. No, thank you uh random but multiverse has been fun i was playing it yesterday i had some, i was having fun with it i was having fun with it okay next article what i got for you because i got a lot for y'all today um doo -doo 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 -doo. uh this is a quick bit so tomorrow i will be streaming um i don't know if i'll be streaming it live because this is only a 30 minute broadcast uh, but I'll be streaming in the afternoon. Either I'll do it live or like right after. Who gives a fuck? It's 30 minutes. Like all the trailers will be on YouTube. But there will be a state of the play tomorrow. It'll be a 30 pl minute plus broadcast this Thursday, 3 p.m., which is tomorrow. So if you're watching on Hokage highlights, it'll be today because you niggas in the past. Uh, tune in live for updates on 15 PS5 titles. Oh, wait, no, 15 PS5 and PSVR titles. See, look at that PR talk. <sighs> look at that PR talk, man. How many of those games are PlayStation 5 games and how many of them are PSVR 2 games? Because I feel like most of them are going to PS be PSVR 2 games. Because if you were really confident and you really had 14 PS5 games to show, you would say that. Nine PS uh, VR 2 games. <laughs> yeah, like three PS5 games. We'll see tomorrow. We'll see. So at least you know, if, I, if, I, if I'm not live streaming this, at least you know it's tomorrow, 3 p.m. PST or uh, yeah, 6, 6 EST. But -ba -da -ba -da, read the comments. Kami says, let's go. Shout out to Kami. Better than nothing. We lit. They seem happy about it. Uh, state of the state of the May 2024 production. Uh, 2024 predictions. This dude is predicting new Astro GTA 6 number two trailer. Kingdom Hearts 4, Persona 6, the Wolverine gameplay. Oh, we need to see that. Ain't that shit supposed to come out this year? Spider-Man 2 DLC. We need to see that too. Ghost of Tsushima 2 trailer. At most, if they do show it, it's a teaser that we're not going to get no gameplay uh final fantasy seven part three teaser <laughs> i hope they don't hey listen if they show final fantasy seven remake part three you niggas better not get excited because you niggas didn't buy it fucking frauds you niggas didn't buy this game 
I better not see nobody in the comment section saying we lit. And I'm, I got the data. I got the data. PlayStation niggas and Xbox niggas, you're all getting slandered today. Everybody's getting slandered. New God of War. Uh... Resident Evil 9 trailer. I don't believe that. New Naughty Dog IP. Hey, buddy. Final Fantasy 17. Spider-Man 3. This nigga, get the fuck out of here. Spider-Man 3. Uh, nah, I'm going to cap like usual. I'm about to pre-order this shit. No, you're not, nigga. We'll see tomorrow what they do. We'll see. Um, More PlayStation news. I got I got this shit. I think like the next couple articles, they're all like PlayStation related. Um, a new certification license has been found that could make the PlayStation VR 2 headset compatible with the PC sooner than later. That's been the rumor. For those of you unaware, the last time I checked, uh, the PSVR 2 has sold a total of five units. Um, and I, that might be on the high side. That might be on the high side. Don't quote me on that. Uh, literally, nobody has this shit. First... <laughs> First found by Twitter user, sadly, it's Bradley. The new certification license, which happened on March 27, 2024, suggests that Sony could be thinking about changing his PSVR strategy. Uh, recently, I bought Rebirth. I haven't played it yet because I'm in the middle of playing the remake. Long yeah, you should beat the first one. That makes sense. The new adapter could mean that players who own the headset or intend to buy one soon have access to a huge library of games on PC. I'm genuinely curious why, like... Like PC niggas want to play the PlayStation exclusives because those are games. I why does Sony think that PC niggas want to play the PSVR too? If you thought that shit, I'm calling it. If you thought it flopped on the PS5, that shit's gonna ultra instinct flop on the PC. Why the fuck would I buy a VR headset for PlayStation that has a field of view limited compared to the Vive and the Oculus? The best headsets are on PC, so why would I buy this? So I, so I can play games that are already on PC and lesser graphics. Get the fuck out of here. You seen this update? Now nah, what's this? This shit gonna flop a Saurus Rex. Oh yeah, 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 I think I got, I think I got that shit. I think I got an article about that. I seen that. Um, so yeah, there's been an adapter that's print apparently been like green lit. So I guess this news is true. Why did you run past dude? It hit the wall. Oh, you're not in trouble. Come here. You're not in trouble. You're okay. That was my fault, dude. <laughs> You're okay. Skirt. All right. Uh, Sony's out of touch. Out of touch. To be fair, I think we're at a point in time where trailers and gameplay ain't enough, as we've seen in the past few years with these major titles and hype reveals that show complete 180. If they show gameplay, I think the best way to get people's faith in a game is don't do a controlled showcase of the gameplay. Because that, uh, yeah, I, that if if you're if we're applying your logic to that, that I would agree with. If you just release some gameplay, you could still pick it apart. Like I was able to pick apart the issues with um, Suicide Squad before it even even came out, um, but that was controlled gameplay. If you let somebody stand on stage during the event and like play the game and like let us see it live, uh, that's a different perspective. Because then if it it spells confidence, I think. Have I played multi? Yeah, I played it yesterday. Uh, what's the name? Was playing it. Nomad. I was playing in the stream. Don't know if you're gonna talk about this in the sub box. Uh, let me see. What's this? Wukong new gameplay oh shit we get to it we get to it bring back the demos more playstation news shout out to the 500 we got in here playstation 5 pro final silicon has been ready since last year apparently it's been ready this is a rumor launch may have been delayed to coincide with big game releases translation we don't got no fucking games the PlayStation 5 Pro, I told you everybody's getting slandered today. PlayStation 5 Pro has been reportedly ready for release since last year, but the console's launch may have been delayed to coincide with big game releases. Shout out to Sleepy with the sub. During the latest episode of the Broken Silicon podcast, Moore's Law is Dead briefly commented on the upcoming mid-generation hardware refresh from Sony, saying that at some point, the console was unlikely to be released. Work continued, however, and the system's final silicon has been completed and ready for release last year. Um, pro, I still don't have a PS5. That's on you. PS5s are everywhere. I see them all the time in the store. As for why the PlayStation 5 Pro, Moore's Law is Dead believes that Sony wants it to launch con to coincide with the release of big games that could better showcase the system's power, such as Grand Theft Auto 6. This definitely makes a lot of sense, considering the latest entry in the series by Rockstar Games is only releasing on current generation consoles, and it's likely going to be a huge system seller, and Sony's not launching any big game this year. Yeah, they can keep that where the game's at, where the game's at. Very little is known about the PS5 Pro and everything we do know comes with reports and rumors that, what up Trey, by the way, of yet to be officially confirmed. From what we know from the specs, yeah, 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 Jigawatch, Jigawatts, Ultra Instinct, 
uh, super gigawatts. Yeah, all that shit. <laughs> 45% faster GPU. Nigga, where the games? Uh, <laughs> all right. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier. And by the way, I got more. I got more. Let's get to the PlayStation slander. We already slandered Xbox, niggas. Let's get to the PlayStation shit. Um, getting back to what I said earlier about how you niggas don't buy games and y'all sit in Twitter spaces and run your mouth. Uh, the final stats in are, are in for April 2024. We had the mid-month stats, but the final stats for April 2024, top 10, uh, top 10 titles played on the PS5. Number one, Call of Duty, Headquarters, which means Warzone, free to play. Number two, Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto 5, 2K, Roblox, Helldivers 2. That's the only game you niggas is playing. Madden, Fallout 4, that shit was free. Spider-Man, in Immortals of Avium, nobody's playing Final Fantasy. That's why I said earlier, I better not, if they announce a Final Fantasy 7 Part 3, you niggas better not act like you excited because you don't buy it. There's no Rise of Ronin on here. You niggas didn't buy it. Y'all don't play no fucking games. You niggas play Roblox. In a, this is crazy to me. This is crazy right here. In your top 10 Immortals of Avium? This is great. That game fucking sucks, bro. That game fucking sucks. So I'm gonna, I'm, we're gonna officially put PlayStation niggas on trial next month. Next month, we're gonna have to wait till July to get the data. But next month, we will be watching the data because Shadows of the Earth Tree comes out on Elden Ring. If you niggas don't buy it, you're fucking frauds. It was free. Oh my God. Immortals of Avium is free. I didn't know that. Hold up. Immortals of. Avium free PlayStation. It is. Who said that in the chat? <laughs> Yo, shout out to Game Reverse. You niggas is frauds. Y'all don't play no games. This shit. This is crazy. Oh, yo, yo, I'm sorry. Yo, Jansen, you're right too. Hold up. There's no Final Fantasy, no Rise of Ronin, no Stellar Blade. I'd argue Stellar Blade is the worst. That's the newest game. You niggas made petitions about how her ass and her titties ain't fat enough when you niggas was never buying the games in the first place, which go no Dragon's Dogma. It goes to show you, you niggas, ne it was never about how sexy it was in the censorship. We got to fight for our rights to game. We got to fight for our rights because censorship it had nothing to do. You niggas never bought it. You're frauds. You're fucking. Fr and before anybody. Oh, you're an Xbox. No, I'm not. We slandered Xbox early. Nigga, I bought the game. Did you? I'm playing the game. Did you? I'm just saying more and more evidence is stacking up. I'm building a case against not PlayStation fans. Because let me reiterate, because niggas getting their panty and they bunch when I make this argument. I'm talking about Sony ponies. Sony ponies, the niggas who be in the comment section of every YouTube video, they be in every Twitter thread, every Twitter space. Them niggas, for some reason, are still on um, what's that shit? The not the Twitter spaces, but the other one, um, Clubhouse, arguing with every PC and Xbox nigga known to man. Do you know why these niggas spend so much time on the internet arguing? They don't play no games. We were checking trophies now. Shout out to the eight hundred people. We're checking trophies. Yeah, we we talk data over here. And the data suggests the data suggests that was a lie. You don't play games. That was a lie. <laughs> two of these fucking games were <laughs> two of these fucking games were free games over here. This is well, no, nah, that's free too. There's a bunch of shit that is fucking funny. Them niggas still using MySpace. More statistics for TBH to slander. It never ends. It never fucking ends. The grift. Yeah, this is this is a new genre of gamers. Grifters. We've had grifter. We've had liberal grifters and Republican grifters. Now we got Xbox and PlayStation grifters, which is funny because it's a two party system. It's almost the same thing. Fraudulent. Fucking fraudulent. I don't want to hear none of y'all niggas' opinions about games. Be in the comment section. Your opinion's wrong. First of all, it's my opinion. Second, you didn't play the fucking game. 60% of you niggas didn't play that shit. You niggas are playing a void. You would, instead of buying, this is crazy, instead of buying Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which some say is one of the best games of the year, you'd rather play a 6 out of 10 for free. Fuck out of here. Other PlayStation news. Uh... Yeah, you lie. Yeah, we need to drop a diss track against Sony Ponies, bruh. 
Yeah, we got to put the Kendrick shit in there. You lied about your game's wish list. You lied about your trophy case. You lied about Spider-Man. <laughs> you lied about Rise of Ronin. You lied about Stella BBL. That's fucking funny. That's fucking funny. I'm not going to read this article. I read, I, This is the one I did read. So apparently... Uh, so last, the last time I streamed, I actually read this article on stream. Neil Druckmann, for those of you unaware, is the head of, uh, Naughty Dog, which is the producers of Jack and Dexter, um, the million remasters of Uncharted and, um, The Last of Us. He gave an interview and he was talking about how basically he was pro AI and how it was going to help them develop games and do things that they've never done before in terms of innovation. And I was bringing up the fact that I'm like, yo, he seems very pro AI. And I was like, yo, if I was a Naughty Dog, I'd be worried about whether I'm going to lose a job. He caught a lot of backlash for this, um, and Sony pulled the article. Um, basically, I guess Neil Druckmann was not happy with the way that he was represented, stating that the full interview wasn't released. They they edited the fuck out of the interview and took him completely out of context, which led to a lot of backlash towards him. Uh, and you know how the media is. Niggas be lying. That's why I don't go on nobody's platform. So I would actually love to see the original unedited article or audio interview or whatever it is what he actually said uh because he said y'all lying and there must be some truth to it because took down the article mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. that's the gist of that one playstation news um i remember during the last of us two fiasco go well go broke crowd called out Neil J yeah of course what up dark stock um don't know if people attracted to drama or YouTube boosting you for YouTube premium showers, but glad to see people tapped in. I think I think it's uh yeah, it's the beef shit. People are still talking about it. That's uh but you know, get it in where you fit in. I ain't mad at it. Uh speaking of games, speaking of games that uh I, I got that one sauce. We're gonna get to it. Speaking of games that you niggas didn't buy, a sequel to Stellar Blade is in consideration at Shift Up. That's the studio behind the game. Not much to add there. Um, other than I, I don't think it's in consideration. I think it's only a matter of time before they announce a sequel. I just hope they have the cash flow to actually produce the game because, I mean, we just looked at the data and PlayStation niggas don't buy games. I just want you PlayStation, Sony niggas, you Sony ponies to understand people lose their jobs when you guys fraud on the internet. But uh, I would like to see a sequel because I'm enjoying what, uh, what I've played so far. I think there's some things they can clean up, especially like some of the movement. It's a little stiff. Uh, but I hope to see a sequel. They're going to reverse the BBLs and give y'all niggas Feller Blade. <laughs> Crazy thing about the most played games on PlayStation, you'd think Multiverses would be in the top 10 of May and June since it's free. To be fair, Multiverses just came out two days ago. Like, you need a few weeks to get some, like, data on that uh, before we watch that. Multiverses, let's because you brought it up, let's talk Multiverses relaunch. Um, apparently, people are upset about this. Over on the subreddit, fans are raising issues with the game's character select restrictions for local matches. In short, you can now only use characters you've unlocked through in-game currency and offline fights. Oh, uh, I didn't even know that. So, like, in the original build of the game, even if you didn't have the character, you could still use them in practice mode to try them out to get a feel for them before you bought them. Does Sony own Stellar Blade? I don't believe so. Uh, because last I checked, Shift Up was a mobile studio. That was their first AAA game. I think what happened with I think what happened with Stellar Blade was Sony saw that they were creating like a a quality product and they gave him like advertise they backed him up, but don't be surprised if they try to acquire him or something like that. Um, how many Twitter spaces they gonna have ready for tomorrow's showcase? You know they gonna be doing live reactions to the games they not buying. Uh, this wasn't the case in the original beta. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. Um, some fans some fans defended this a decision, claiming multiverses needs to make money somehow with the free to play model, and this is just the nature of the beast uh you could play them in offline mode yeah like i can't defend that because if it was in the game before why take it out everybody is I, i'd argue it drives more sales if you let the if you let people try out the character because if you're designing well-designed characters people are going to want to buy them it, it kind of masks whether or not the character is bad like and i'll give you an example me and nomad were playing last night and um i bought martian manhunter and i'm gonna be honest i only bought them because that's i grew up on looney tunes i played the character i didn't really like them um I'm not gonna lie, I probably wouldn't have bought the character with one of my tickets, one of my battle pass coins, uh, if I was able to try them beforehand. Um, but, but, uh, and what about the founders? They really gave nothing for getting that, but the rewards from the beta? Mm -mm -mm. Did I say Martian Manhunter? <laughs> my bad, Mar Marvin the Martian. <laughs> Them goddamn aliens, my bad. Marvel the Martian. Y'all knew what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, everybody's so entitled these days. 
11 years ago, Killer Instinct innovated with exactly the same character monetization and rotating trial. That's a bad... Ex Yo, if you're trying to make an argument, I don't think you should use Killer Instinct because... Killer Instinct on Xbox One had its audience. It had a very niche audience, but I would never call that game successful. That was a bad example. Killer Instinct innovated. It also failed. Uh, that's why it's not in the Evo lineup. Uh, was saying that all last night. I was. Whoops. Whoopsie. Yo, shout out to King Dooms with the big ray. We appreciate you. This change has taken wind with some of the fan sales and made some hesitant to return especially now that it's become impossible to try characters out before paying for them i'm more i'm more surprised that the the launch didn't um i'm more surprised the launch didn't have a larger player base last time i checked they launched it with like an extra like a hundred thousand concurrent players which is good but when you see something like x defiant which had eight million players it's opening weekend i thought it would have did a little bit better consider also because it's free to play and it has cross play uh congrats on the success i appreciate it rashawn uh wait characters are locked during eh, i don't care about that quote multiverse has only been back online for a day so it's entirely possible these changes could be reverted in a future update yeah yeah happen. and for me the camera's too close uh it took a second for me to get used to it but i was used to it the game being slower didn't really bother me though um do you think the win rate for characters is about to be 50 percent like smash bros nah finn's still broken Finn, Finn was pissing me off last night when I played because, uh, and I'm sure we're gonna run into some tonight. His uh, his hitbox gets priority over every fucking thing. Fuck that character. Um, that that damn dog too. Rumor mill, rumor mill, rumor mill. Two uh, K Games has secured the FIFA video game license, according to MoPlay Inc. Who the fuck is this? The best video game plug, all gaming consoles. Who? You got a YouTube or something? Da -da -da -da. Anybody know MoPlay Inc? Yeah. yeah, no disrespect, but this nigga has 5,000 subscribers. We don't believe you. Um, I'm going to say take this with a grain of salt. This is why I hate the fact that anybody can get a check mark now, because they're reporting this. 2K Games has secured the FIFA video game license according to MoPlay Inc. If it was like a journalist, because because being a love so low sub count doesn't always mean it but if it's like a journalist like from like a reputable website okay i'm like all right maybe they have some insider news the same source claims fifa 2k i'm not saying this won't happen by the way i'm just like i don't believe this dude i don't, I don't trust him claims 2k 25 will launch later this year. it's supposed to come out this year nigga what it's almost it's i mean it is summer june is in like two days when it's gonna come out the news comes just days after fifa president gianni Ifandino said we're developing new partners in a new game get ready oh maybe that's why people believe it okay that quote there there was rumors that lego's making a fifa game also there's a rumors that a horizon zero dawn a fifa lego game uh looks like it's happening more info oh wait maybe they have an actual credible source hmm. let me see 2k has reportedly secured the license you're still sourcing the same person. I don't know them. Uh, the same source claims that the new football simulator is set to launch later this year and will be named FIFA 2K25. While the proposed time frame may be questionable due to the development process of creating a game, a release date aligned with 2K26 FIFA World Cup tournament would be more realistic. I just don't like this year. There's no way this game is good. Like they're probably using the same engine NBA 2K is on, so you know the animation is gonna be janky because that 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 engine was made for basketball, not football. Two different sports, so the animation is probably gonna be janky, and 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 then and then the animations are already ass in NBA 2K. Would y'all would y'all play if if this does come out? Let's act like this is real. If this does come out this year and they come out with like a park mode, would y'all play that shit? FIFA 2K Street microtransactions out the ass how much how much how much vc y'all think it's gonna cost to upgrade your my player how much y'all think a hundred thousand hundred million thousand hundred million gazillion thousand what y'all think <laughs> top shot is pretty good yeah but tennis is not football tennis tennis is in terms of like in tiers of sports it's below like there's there's basketball well no first of all football is at the top soccer there's soccer I don't watch the NFL, but it is fucking popular as shit. NFL, basketball, believe it or not, the NFL does better numbers than uh, basketball. 
Um, I would put tennis below that in terms of popularity, not not whether or not I like the sport. Uh, so it's like they they probably had to be a little bit more lenient and more um, what's the word pro consumer. But you know they're gonna milk the fuck out this shit because people are gonna buy the fuck out of a soccer game. Um, which by the way, this past weekend I played tennis for the first time. It was actually pretty fun. I'm playing my girl. My girl played tennis. Um, we played three games. She beat me two one. I said, "Girl, you sure you play this shit?" I said, "Don't let me get good." You know, I I said, "GGs." I clawed her up, but I said, "A little bit more practice, you're never gonna beat me again." <laughs> You're never gonna fucking beat me. I was having fun. It was a good workout too. It was a good workout. I had fun. I hate to admit it, but I think 2K needs to try every sport. You said singles. Yeah, we was doing singles. Now she went. Now she want to do a. Um, she's like, oh, we should enter like a couples club, like a couples tournament. I was like, let me get a little bit better. Like, I think she was surprised by my athleticism. Like, I'm very explosive, but I mean, that's what I practice in the gym anyway. Um, so like the sprinting part was easy. Like getting to the ball for me, it was controlling my power. It took me a little bit. I was starting to get it though. Like having that's like the first sport I ever played where I got to dial back my fucking strength because I was just hit. I hit one ball to the fucking moon, bro. <laughs> but once I started to get it, I was like, okay. What about pickleball? Um, I've heard about pickleball, but I heard I, I heard pickleball is for niggas who are not athletic though. Like I, I can play tennis. I was moving around the court, no problem. Yeah, it's all technique. Like total respect to tennis players. Very very hard sport. Uh, good exercise too because it's nothing but like it's just hit you're just sprinting back and forth and shit um but a bit what else i got for you oh you said look at this gameplay is this specifically what you want to look for <laughs> lost five when did this come out six days ago oh, i missed this a lot of old people play pickleball exactly uh, it's tennis for unathletic people this is a compilation of old gameplay. Ah, uh, I don't think I've seen this though. This look like it's gonna blow PCs up. Does his run have a startup? That I don't know. Pickleball is good on the knees. My knees is healthy. I train my hip flexes. I do plyometrics. I do sprints. I was ready and she was getting mad because every time I would score, I'd do like a high knee and I run. <laughs> I said, serve up. Equality, right? We're equal, men and women. Come on, let's play. <laughs> I know guys that do amateur that make pretty good bread winning tournaments. I entertained it. I said, you know what? A little bit more practice. I was like, maybe we will play in a couples league. I said, I need more practice though. I got to get my technique down. But I, I'm a, I could be a dangerous motherfucker in tennis if I get the technique down. Once I learn how to like master the power and the actual like I don't know, you call it a stroke, getting being accurate. <clears throat> Star Wars hunters, Star Wars hunters. I was thinking about getting a PC now. What is a good starter? You gotta you gotta build your own joint. How's your backhand? That could use work too. That could use work too. That stroke. Uh, for those of you who forgot, Star Wars Hunters is an upcoming, um, I guess a PvP like hero shooter in the Star Wars universe. The only thing I don't like about this game is apparently this is exclusive to mobile in the Nintendo Switch. This shit DOA is fuck. This shit DOA is fuck. Put it on PC. Put it on console. What are you doing? Well, it doesn't on the Switch. Put it on the console, the other consoles. This is a launch trailer. Hero shooters are back. Mobile could be tough. I don't know. Yeah, you you know what? You're right. Because you know what? I don't think I would play this on the Switch. I'd probably play this on my phone instead. Let's show them what we got. Like that. Hero shooters get way too fast. Uh, way too sweaty too fast. Yeah, but this is on the Switch and mobile, so it's probably not going to be as sweaty. Because it's going to be a younger demographic, most likely, on it. Respect the armor. Choice. I think it's cool they're thinking of new characters. I hope they give them some type of backstory. You're gonna boot up your Switch? Who knows? Maybe I'll boot up the Switch one time for it for a stream. We'll entertain it, maybe. This would be fire on a Steam Deck. I agree. Power control. 
When is the release date on it again? June 4th, June 4th. So if you're looking for a new multiplayer game to play, just keep in mind this is exclusive to the Switch and to mobile. And you know it's going to have hella microtransactions because it's published by Zynga, the same people behind Farmville. I need that Battleborn revival? Hell no, Struggleborn. Struggleborn sucks.